Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Lone Star Gamer Dad here. We're picking up with that quest to save Kintok. And we have to clear this debris here, so. Uh, we need our pool caster. Looks like he got washed down inside of a mine, old mine shaft. I don't I don't really know. Uh let's see here. Can we pull that again? Something for my pole caster to latch on to. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it because the slight darkness. There we go. Yeah, now let's go see what this is about. Okay. I hit something. Well, there's tri lots of dripping water. Ooh, yeah, an old mine shaft. Look at that. Old, old mine shaft. Oh, well. Here we go, Take Mr. Kintok. You must be Kentuck. Oh. I was an outlander, no my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. Yes, he did. And Natika. She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake. Deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So leave me. It's not the way Aloy no, does things. They're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in from the surface. Not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be <laughs> used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. Sure, gonna try. Uh, the waterfall must be coming right. from somewhere. I need to well. get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, use that to hop over here and loot us a chest here. Infant, ancient valuables box. All right, now I saw that up there, so pull that down. And then we'll go. Ooh, barely. Uh, okay, just kick it open. I like her she has to turn around to kick it, like mule kick it. <laughs> just old barrels, so now we'll just do this and pull that down. Alright. Now, can we just push it over here and use it to climb up? Aha, yes, see, yes, we can. Water's coming from that vent. Right. There must hmm. be another source. Yeah, it looks like it's this way, Aloy. So we are gonna go like the. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, uh, you know, be careful there, Aloy. Uh, there's nothing, no reason to rush yourself. Because I really don't want to fall. That would be a long, painful fall. 
But I think if we were to fall, we'd just land in the water. So, Aloy, come on. Ooh, what the heck. Uh, I think I need to pull those down, yeah? Or do something with those. Well, we're going to pull this one down, too. Uh, so, which way do we go? Oh, I see, I see. That there. Swing in. Okay, because that had me a little confused. I thought I was having to jump to those, that other ladder, but all right, now it makes total sense. Shimmy around this way. Mm -hmm. And then we go over here and drop down, and there okay. we are. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Ooh, another chest. Oh. Swing across, Aloy. Oh, yes. Uh, even if we have to just launch back up. Right. Oh, we can actually do this. Okay. Well, that made it easy. I was expecting to have to go back down and around. That's punishment for stopping and getting a treasure. So glad I didn't. But the path to get back up here wasn't too terrible anyway, so... Drop down. And now what? Right, we're up higher, so... Oh, I see fire gleam. can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should go. And then we gotta run. Oh, cutscene, okay. It makes it easier on me. Ooh. Nice jumping, Aloy. And see, this should give them decent water, right? What did you do? I found us a way out. Because that's not contaminated with the ash blood. So. Hey! Stay with me. Tell Natika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. That's right, Kintok. Even if you're gonna die, tell her what you have to say to her face. He tried. He wanted me to tell you. The blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. For the full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. Oh. I want you to have this. That blockage was Thanks. draining the village? And good luck. Oh, well. Whatever you decide. That was cool. I wonder if over time you come back in there, um, the village is repaired or, you know, back to normal. Probably not, but you never know. Right, let me see. What did I get from that? Tanox Vindicator. Is that armor? The only thing I don't like about this set is the headpiece. So I think I'm going to get rid of it. Turn it off if I remember how. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. I just need to dye this stuff. Whoa. 
Yeah, we're getting close to ether and look. Oh, we're gonna jump off here. Cause I don't know if this place is gonna be friendly or not. Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanox warriors everywhere. Right, yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Was if they're gonna fight, then uh, I gotta be careful and approach this with a little bit of sense. Alright. Whoa, that's a fighter jet of some sort, isn't it? Hmm, so is this a museum? Or some kind of military stronghold? This was the F-38 Razor Wing. It's one of the only the four surviving planes by Joint Task Force 10. Hmm. Joint Task Force 10. Does that mean that's the 10 they are referring to? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Let's see what they, uh, let them finish talking. We will not yield. Decca, what do you have to say, Decca? May seem strong now. She's got Her cool hair. Took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. Neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know <laughs> who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. That's her. You are known to us. I am Deca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the chief will provide. Come. Okay. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. <laughs> I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. I think I would like to know more about them, yes. So let's talk about the visions first, I guess. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound. But over the years, they've fallen into darkness. One by one. Must that be Ether's doing. Chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Well, that's interesting. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the chief. He can be very convincing. <laughs> Tell us more about chaplains of the lowlands, yes. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. I guess on to Hikaru we go. All right, let's go see Chief Hikaru. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. And I hope we can 
see some of the oh good 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 because yeah i want to see let me look around here make sure there's nothing that i'm missing see all right let me aha uh -huh. another uh data point huh what's that oh it's tour script hollow tour of the mojave battlefield museum tour will guide you through all the museum's expeditions all the museum's exhibitions, giving you broad insight into the hot zone crisis and tragic battle that took place on these very grounds. Hmm. So this was a museum. And there was an actual battle that took place here. Come, soldier of the ten. Glitched. Incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as, as best we can. Let's try to activate it and see what it says. Bodies were weapons for battle. The Ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. I can the certainly chief, see why they're few obsessed with them. Had in common. Come on, there's another thing here I want to read. Uh, and this is... Uh... Just some information on the uh, hot zone incident, which we can check out later. So the 10, Task Force 10, with that missing data, that explains a whole lot, though. If you're only getting chunks of the data, then it explains why. Oh, Matika. Let's talk to her real quick. Well met, Aloy. She made it. I was it. hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. Natika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentuck to rest and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. But with these missing chunks of data from these uh, exhibits, you can see why they would interpret them that the way they have. Yeah, they defend mountains relentlessly. They're good During climbers. The, war, the ten climb sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. <laughs> they stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Well, it makes sense. The Ten own the mountain. Man versus the machine. Yeah, this is just uh, different. Supposed to have been different. Supposed to have been different uh, pieces of machinery on display that's no longer there. Ten claim the desert, and that's why there's a desert clan too on top of the mount mountain clan, desert clan. See, you can kind of get that why they would see it that way. So sand soldiers should be feared. The ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevailed. So the Desert Clan does the same. 
<laughs> we must have passed through their territory on the way here. Yes, yes, we did. They uh, seem a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. <laughs> yes, they would. Yes, they would. All right, what's this? An email. Hi, Andy. Could you please inform relevant staff and maintenance, hosting, and security of the following new opening and closing protocols? I've already briefed Dwight. Uh, so it's just telling how to turn everything on and turn everything off. Hmm. So, man, I wonder if we repair ether. Oh, that's got to be the throne room. If we repair ether, if that's going to cause them to have their beliefs altered because we restore these uh, holograms, right? Possibly. Hmm. Soldiers in a jungle. And this is the jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. Hmm. Oh, this is modern writing, right? Oh, it's another Kardra, Fashal's journal. Another one of those. Oh man, I gotta read those. At that relic you wear, can hear the voices of the old ones. Is this true? Oh, yeah, give me just one second though, because I see another black box exhibit. Final moments of okay, so they have actual black box on display, huh? You have an old world recording? This box hmm. was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage hmm. the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9 out. The voices of warriors from the past. <laughs> and that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. But these voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. Hmm. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. All right. Well, I don't think I have any other recordings, so let's talk about the Delvers. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who'll risk coming here. And well, what yeah. What do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust, so we bury them in it, alive. <laughs> wow. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. Fair enough. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. So, couldn't Aloy fix the, uh... Ah... Uh... What am I thinking of? Couldn't she fix these hologram machines if she can fix that black box? From those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Well, oh, there's another one there. Okay, let's go see what this is. Hopefully it won't change into a cutscene right away until after I get a chance to look that over, but we'll see.
Oh, welcome to the Hall of Heroes. So this is why this is the throne room. And these are some of the people who lost their lives during the Battle of the Mojave. Some of the ten. Okay. That would be cool to tell them about, though, wouldn't it? The chief is inside. Ooh. Cutscene, just like I him? figured. Yeah, we're ready to see the chief. I'm ready. Good. Come. So I'm pretty sure we've seen everything we can up to this point. I think there's another jet hanging there. Yep. Look at that. What are you seeing? Oh, it's look at that. Ether is here. I will see you soon, Outlander. <laughs> the savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta. In single combat. Impressive. He's definitely imposing. I met Fashav there too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service. That could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. Ooh. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. Oh. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too. If you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone. <laughs> you could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. Yeah, if he does have a point. I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. <laughs> but there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Oh, yeah, I've got a ton of questions, man. Let's start with Fashav. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. 
a bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian, that peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? In exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashaw. He will be missed. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. So what happened with that challenge? What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather mm. than mercy, she took it as a humiliation. One she will never be free from. Oh yeah, that was a big mistake, Chief. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. <laughs> Very true. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Okay. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. Because the chief can't be everywhere. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. <laughs> Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. <laughs> what about at least Tom? he's honest. Can't he do it by himself? He is maimed. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, 
killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies. Mm. And Aether arrives. Yeah, that me, makes sense. The visions of the grove grew louder and brighter. And suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. <laughs> what did the old one say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines, and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear, and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans, trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. All right, Chief. I'm going to hold you to that. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised if you succeed. Speak to Deco on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Ooh, arm me for the road ahead? Where'd you go, lady? Come, let us speak. Hikaru said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, mm. and our weapon. scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. <laughs> Nothing I haven't faced before. <laughs> Indeed. Good point, good point. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Yes, ma'am. Ah, oh, cleaving sharp shot bow. It's precision tear arrows. Okay. All right. Excuse me, fellas. If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Akaro. Yes, Better you will. Better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. And that's exactly what we're gonna try and do in the next video, provided we don't run into side missions and other needy Tanakhs on the way. Come back soon, and we'll do it together. <laughs>